In this lecture, we're going to look at adding AdMob free to our Ionic applications. So I'm going to start off by making a new project named AdMob free based on the blank template. So this allows us to add the Google AdMob platform to our applications. We can then display banner ads, which cover up a small section of the screen and interstitial ads, which cover up the entire screen. Now there are two versions of this plugin. There is the AdMob Pro plugin, otherwise simply known as AdMob. And that plugin takes money or royalties after you earn a particular amount. Whereas this one at this moment in time, hence the name free, does not. You may wish to look at both plugins to see which one is right for you and your project. But nonetheless, you will actually require an AdMob account. When we're doing this, we can do it in testing mode, so you won't actually need one for this plugin. But if you do obviously want to put this into production and start earning money from the ads, then you will need to replace the test ID and is testing, which we will look at later on with your actual AdMob ID. So let's CD into AdMob free. And from here, we can of course add the Ionic Cordova plugin for the Cordova plugin AdMob free. Hit yes to installing the CLI plugin for Cordova. And the next thing to do is run npm install at ionic native slash AdMob free. You will need to add dash dash save if you're not running npm five and above. Once we've done that, we can say code dot. Alternatively, you can open this up in whatever editor that you want. And then we can head over to our root app module.ts. We'll have to import from Ionic Native slash AdMob free the AdMob free plugin. So this here is the Ionic Native wrapper for that. And then of course we can add this to the providers like so. Now we can head over to either the provider that you want or simply the components in which you want to show this. And I will remove the nav controller for now because we won't need that. And then we'll say private add mob of type add mob free. Let's inject add mob free once again. And we can start off by initially saying show banner ad. And here we can determine some banner ad config. So let's say banner config. And this will be of type add mob free banner config. Let's take a look at that interface. As you can see, we have things like an ad unit ID, whether the advert is a test ad, whether we want to auto show the ads and a variety of other config options. Now this config option is similar to the paid version of this plugin. And you'll notice that we also have some interfaces for the future config options that we'll be looking at. So let's set our banner config. We can start off with the ID. So the ID here will be something like CA pub, and then we might have a particular number that comes from your add mob console. And then we can say is testing for now equal to true. And we can also add things like auto show equal to true. And because we have auto show enabled, we don't have to actually call show banner add but we'll look at that in a second. If you wanted to, you could also enable banner at top equal to true, and that would show the banner at the top of the screen instead of the bottom. I'm gonna remove that for now. And also, let's just comment out this so we don't get any errors. Similar to the paid plugin, we then have to set our banner config, and that can be done by the this.admob.banner, and I'm gonna call this admob free actually instead just so we don't get mixed up with what plugin we are using. We'll pass in that banner config. And now I'm going to make this function an async function. So we can now determine with a try catch whether we can show this ad. And that can be done by saying the admobfree.banner.prepare. So we'll add a result here. 
And if everything is being done correctly, because we have this auto or show enabled, the banner should show. We can console.log the result. Let's console.error, any errors. And if we place this inside of our constructor, and you can hook this into an event as well if you want, we could say something like this dot show banner add. I'm then going to run this on the device. We'll run it on the device by saying Ionic Cordova run and then the platform that you want, such as Android dash L. This will run it on the Android device. And of course, we've added live reload. So any changes that we make on the desktop will automatically be changed on the phone. So on my device, we have an advert at the bottom of the screen. We can't see this here in the dev tools, but you can see that we did get OK in the console. And this, of course, does reflect the fact that these ads are being shown. So we now have a shown banner ad. And the next thing to do is to show an interstitial ad. Now, an interstitial ad, you may have seen them, is one that takes up the entire screen. So now that we've shown our banner ads, we can make a function named show interstitial add. And we can add async to this. I've also gone ahead and put the config inside of this try catch block just to make things a little neater. And we can do the same here by making another try catch block. And this time we'll make an interstitial config of type add mob free interstitial config. And remember that comes from ionic native slash add mob free. And this has a similar interface as our banner ad. We have things like an ID, whether we are testing and whether we want to show the ad when loaded. So let's put in a placeholder for our ID. Let's add is testing equal to true and auto show also equal to true. Similar to before, we can say this dot add mob free dot interstitial dot config and pass in that config. Let's now say const result equal to await this dot add mob free dot interstitial dot prepare. Now, as we have auto show enabled, it will automatically show our ad. So let's log this out to the console as well. So I'm also now going to show an interstitial ad here inside of the constructor. Notice how we now get two OKs. The first OK comes from the banner and the second OK comes from the interstitial ad. Once again, we can't see this inside of the developer tools, but you will be able to see this on the phone. Now let's do the same for a video ad. So we can make an async show video rewards ad. And you know the gig by now, it's a try catch with a console aura of E. We can make a video rewards config and we can import the ad mob free reward video config. And we can assign this constant here, that type and we can make that equal to, and once again, we have the options of ID. We have is testing equal to true and auto show equal to true. Let's set our config by saying now reward video dot config equal to that video rewards config, after which we can display this by saying prepare and we're going to add this to a result once again and the await keyword and we can console.log the result. Instead of showing the interstitial, I am going to comment this out and I am going to say this dot show video rewards add. And if we save this, our app will build once again. And this time our reward video will be fired. This will show the user a reward video 
instead of the interstitial ad. But you'll notice that it does take up the entire screen and when we are testing, it does show the interstitial ad. When you add your production ID though, it should show the appropriate response. So that wraps up how we might integrate the AdMob free plugin inside of our Ionic applications.